Peace. Peace. What's going on? Uh, Peace. We here today, you know, with the first episode of uh, what we call Chicago Detox. Yes, Chicago yeah. Detox. Detoxing Chicago, one topic at a time, to address serious issues and come up with practical solutions. And this is a Chicago Artistic Alliance original. Yes. And we're all about bringing like minds like ourselves. We're artists. Uh, I go by uh, Roger That, uh, a.k.a. Shystro. Uh, I go by the name of uh, KG Capone, also uh, Chong Marley. All right. Professionally known as Wesley Rogers, you know. Dope. <laughs> and we are here uh, bringing you a, a live podcast for the first time, the first debut of Chicago Detox. Definitely. Like we say, talking about detox in Chicago, you know, because yes. the city overall, you know, we need it. The whole world need it, but, you know, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So we're going to start with hometown, right? Yes. And so one thing we want to do is talk about some of the topics that's going on. And one of the topics we really wanted to talk about, besides R. Kelly, so this is not an R. Kelly episode. No chaos, save chaos. But we're going to talk about the $5 billion wall the five billion dollar wall that's right and with that five billion dollar <laughs> wall it has been the focal point of not only two political heavyweights the democrats and the republicans left versus right of the same bird but it has literally <laughs> shut down a government or they say partial shutdown the partial government shutdown now, what does that mean? Does anyone know what partial shutdown means? Partially, I mean, I won't give you the direct Google definition, but, you know, partial, I think it means, like, almost. <laughs> for me, it means some people still getting paid for work not being done, while the people who are actually starving, those that are the federal workers out there, as we see, are not getting paid. And they're now, now out uh, protesting and facing evictions, facing late notices. They facing life, you know? It's like if you working and you're not getting paid, mm -hmm. like, you know, you still got bills. But, you know, that's that don't got nothing to do with the wall, though. We still got to get to the $5 billion wall. <laughs> that ain't even, but you know. <laughs> but touching on that... That is causing a crisis. So yeah, we know definitely. what the crisis within, of that five billion. Itself. So now, what is that five billion dollar wall? What is the issue with the five billion dollar wall? Well, the president, President build. Trump, <laughs> wants a wall, right? And he is willing to hold uh, not signing a budget unless that is part of the budget, yeah, right? Pretty much, he's basically holding the American people hostage. Yes. In a sense. In a sense. Because they won't figure it out. <laughs> so we're going to try to figure it out. Yeah. All right, why not? Let's take a shot. Why not? They can't. Okay. <laughs> so the $5 billion wall, is it, one, something we need? Let's, let's focus on need, wants, right, and practicality. Needs, wants, and practicality. Do we need a $5 billion wall? I mean, <clears throat> If the five billion dollar wall is going to, you know, do, like, all right, first, <laughs> first of all, what is a wall meant to do, you know, like, and I reference uh, an old song, you know, by Goody Mob, you know, Ooh, on, nice, on the nice. rights, you know, but like they nice say, choice. you wonder if the gate was put up to keep crime out or keep your ass in, you know, mm. and that's mm. kind of the analogy I think of when I think about that, because it's like. You know, <laughs> that's dope. What if? That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like they building this wall, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they allegedly trying to keep these migrant caravans, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, up out of here. You know, so it's like at the end of the day, you know, what? Like, at the, you know, what? what? What's that all about? So they really trying to keep them out or. <laughs> they're trying to keep somebody or they or some trying to keep in. some people in yes. so it's like you know however you want to look at it you know what I'm saying <laughs> well, I'm gonna Crazy. say on my end <laughs> I'm on my end I think they're trying to keep people say that's in. why cuz they say they're trying to keep people out what's up cousin I got 
got it. I need another camera. I'm going live on what's the name? I got the real camera on it. <laughs> but yeah, uh I lost my train of thought. No, but so basically no. the wall is keeping some people out. Yeah. Supposedly, but it's also keeping people in. In. It's keeping a lot of people in. <laughs> and and honestly, that is what the issue. That five billion dollar wall is not gonna be it's not a need because it's not regulated to appear to close down anything. We just as we were doing our research, right, we discovered that forty percent of those supposed illegal immigrants yeah. come through uh the airport. So logically speaking, you are gonna make a five billion dollar wall to yeah. possibly stop in sixty <laughs> percent. And Pretty that's much. the best case scenario, which we not we know we don't have an efficient government. So that that's shooting down let's say thirty percent. So we want a $5 billion off for probably 30% efficiency. Yeah, I wish yeah, I could get I mean, that kind of pay at work. Yeah, I mean, man, it, it just it just don't add up, you know, because like you say, you're trying to basically keep people out, you know, and, you know, hold, I guess you could kind of say hold the people here hostage in mm -hmm. a sense because, you know, by not, you know, hold, shutting down the government, you know, you kind of holding people hostage to their obligations regardless what I like paying them. So it's like at the end of the day, some got to give, you know, because the reality of the wall is it don't really, it don't really add up. Like, you know, cause it's, it's like, a, it's like a, it's not a modern solution to, uh, you know, a, a 21st a real, century real, problem. A, the reality yes. of the problem. Yes. You know what I'm 21st so. century <laughs> problems. And we're using outdated 19th century <laughs> technology. With all this technology, that's what we use a wall, yeah. and and that to me is the problem. Yeah, outdated solutions. And then, like we say, like we was talking about earlier, like you know, then if you even think about like Mexico, you know, mm -hmm. it's like the wall, like the wall is not gonna stop them from like getting in here. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they gonna get in here. You and know what, what are saying? some because of the ways they're getting in? So we talked about the airport, forty percent airport, you know and what I'm also underground. They got the underground tunnels, you know, and it's like Mexico, we, which they, we're not talking about. You know, we don't know, but come on, like they got they broke El Chapo out the jail twice. twice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like stop it. Exactly. <laughs> you know. So what is the so to reality. me, the reality of a $5 billion wall stopping our whole partial shutdown government, what is the practicality of it then? It's basically a political stunt. And that <laughs> is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. We have to understand when we're being duped by games and phony baloney foolery and understand the politics that played the games and minds of people. $5 billion for a wall when we're giving billions of dollars of aid to people around the well, world. Well, hold up. What happened to who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, nobody even really talking. That's not even the issue. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's so much buffoonery and foolery going on, you know. People just flip the script and, you know, kind of just run with what's, what's hot today. And, you know, people just run with it. Like, okay, you know. Because it's all about the programming of the people. It did? Okay. So, yeah, so we're talking about the $5 billion wall. Uh, we already went over the needs. Nobody really wants it, so we know it's between two political parties. And it's not practical because it's not going to help take care of any of the infrastructure in this country. It's not going to really stop any illegal immigrants from coming because we know 40 percent come through the air. It doesn't stop the underground tunnels that are uh, beneath. Uh, and currently, we know we don't have a good efficiency rate when it comes to this government. So that possible 60 percent now has dwindled. Like I said, we gave a 30, uh, 50 percent shot. That's 30 percent. And we know that's even further than that. So we're going to build a possible wall, which is, as I was saying, 19th century technology for a 21st century problem. And the real problem we should figure out is why do we need a wall of five billion? That's not going to do anything. I'm back. So, yeah, five billion for a while. Like I said, I think. 
somebody gonna get that contract that you know <laughs> that know them people. <laughs> Let's talk about that. What do you mean contract? I don't know what you're contract, talking about. Contract, you know, like I mean, people actually pay. The five billion dollar wall. Okay, so let's just say yes. I give you five billion to All do right. a wall. Thank right? you. Right? You gonna need somebody to do it. Or I just leave. <laughs> but so, yes. You know, if say you the person, right, okay. who get who need the wall done. Yes. Right. Just say I need a wall done. Mm-hmm. I probably know somebody that could make a wall. You know okay. what I'm saying? It might be one of my homies too. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Are you sniffing at playing <laughs> to pay I to mean, play I don't know. politics? I mean, I don't, it's not politics, it's the game. Ooh, <laughs> the game. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Everyone around the world, the game. Oh, the real. The game. So we have to understand this is a game. Say, Boo, I can't sit my camera nowhere. <laughs> oh, they're looking. Oh, that's the game. Yo, the live. I can't sit my oh. camera nowhere. Okay. It's yeah. on the iPad. Oh, so we should have been looking at, we should have been looking down the <laughs> whole I put time. It right here. <laughs> like, we don't know where to put it. Like I don't have a tripod for this one. The whole time I was looking at the camera, I should have been looking down. We cool, cause the camera is what we going to. Okay, to get used like, to. Like we it. pushing our camera. This okay. is just live. Okay. Live. <laughs> but the camera's recording. But at the end of the day, yeah, we yeah, could. Okay, cool. But cool. like I say, the reality is, pay to play politics is how this game been going. You yes. know, and like, I mean, I don't got the excerpts, but you know, if 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 you pay a politician, mm-hmm. he owe you a favor. It's a he favor, a favor. Fa- favor for a favor. One hand wash the other. It's the yes. American way. The you know American what I'm way. And so that's is that close enough for y'all? <laughs> What's up, everyone? <laughs> but yeah, um, but like I say, at the end of the day, it's it's just really more so. It's just how how stuff is, you know. Mm-hmm. But like dealing with the five billion dollar wall is is just a bunch of, you know, it's politics that people are talking about, but it ain't really nothing being done about it, in, in my opinion. You know, they just really doing it, but and they're just they're just <laughs> showing the oohs and ahs of American drama, yeah, American Sh- live drama, the shenanigans yes. of other people. <laughs> shenanigans for the people and so that's one of the things we want to do with our show is that we want to help others see as we have chicago detox detoxify also from the nation and see behind the curtains totally. so not get caught up in the stories or the drama or the politics of it all but see how the hooplas all have the same drama that you see on daytime television it's the same drama in sports it's the same drama in politics there is always a cycle or a pattern that they mm-hmm. use to keep people's oohs and ahs. You see it in movies. You see it in commercials. Mm-hmm. How do they play games with you? They give you a ooh. <laughs> they give you a ah. They give you a ooh. They give you a ah. It is crazy. And then they soothe with a ooh, about, right, yeah. to make it yeah. easier for you to take all the BS in, right? You got to make it easy. So they learn how to mind rape <laughs> using their mental uh, programs that they created through, you know, uh, MLK Ultra, as we know. So, not to go off on that tangent, we can go on another subject, but this is all to tell you that everything is played like a game, a trick, to give you caught up in the drama while yeah. we know that this is a controlled shutdown. So the <laughs> $5 billion wall is just an illusion. It's just a game to play, because they know what they want to do. But yeah. they know that this system is not efficient enough to continue on as it, it currently stands. Totally. So I mean, that is why we have a five billion dollar wall issue. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, like yes. the five billion dollar wall issue is just, you know, like you say, it's I mean, it's just some bullshit, you know, to kind of keep stuff going and kind of, you know, like kind of take it's basically the it's basically something to t- keep your eyes off of what's really going on. Because, yeah. like you say, it's always stuff going on. And then when you're dealing with, you know, your boy, number 45, it's, you know, it ain't no telling, you know, what's going on. So, yes. you know, I don't know. Like, what y'all got on the wall? Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we hope that you guys got something out of this first episode. Just let us know, feedback, comment. Please let us know how you, any topics that you might have for following episodes that we can touch on to help Chicago Detox 
uh, become a premier showcase, a show uh, for the voice of the people so that we can finally get behind the, 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 the semantics of the politics and look behind the curtains and detox from BS, bullshit. Most definitely. I mean, and that's that's just pretty much what it is, you know. Like you said, if you rocking with it, you know, let tell us. us let know? us know. And if you got any comments, you know, make them, you know, good or bad. You know yes. what I'm saying? Constructive wanna, criticism. You know, you want to see us, like you said, talk about any specific topics, or if you want to, you know, engage and actually, yeah. you know, debate some issues. You know, holler back because right. it's definitely finna, you know, go down. And this was I'm Roger that. And I'm Chong Marley. And this was a <laughs> Chicago Artistic Alliance original, Chicago Detox. Chicago Detox. Yeah. All right. Thank you.